The initiative on the digital economy is all about how uh, the economy is being radically transformed by digital innovation. And two of the most important transformations that we're aware of uh, are the rise of social technologies and the ability to conduct massive experiments on a scale that is unprecedented. We uh, just finished the largest ever longitudinal study of the spread of false news online. Uh, we did this with Twitter, and uh, we studied all of the true and false verified stories that ever spread on Twitter since its inception in 2006 to the present day in 2017. And we found some amazing insights that were both scary and in fact contradict most of the uh, congressional testimony that we're hearing about false news uh, in the last six months. What we found was that false news spreads further, faster, farther, and more uh, broadly than the truth in every category of information and by orders of magnitude. We also found that contrary to popular belief, this isn't due to bots spreading false news. It's because human beings are susceptible to spreading false news um, more than we initially thought. Uh, this is primarily because human beings are susceptible to novelty and we're much more likely to share novel information and false news is just more novel because it's made up. The technologies are agnostic. It's all about how we use these technologies that affect the outcomes that we see. So we have seen a tremendous impact on our democracy from social technologies in just the last 12 to 18 months. We now know that other outside uh, state actors have been interfering in our elections by uh, distributing propaganda through these social technologies, by creating news stories that are false, distributing those news stories through the hype machine of social technologies, and essentially creating dramatic polarization amongst the American electorate. What we're working on now is interventions to dampen uh, false news cascades, for instance, by labeling news with a veracity score. How true is what you're reading? So all in all, we're studying and learning about how false news works, how it operates, and how to fix the problem. Everything that comes after this will be in the context of these rich technologies that have completely reshaped probably one of the most important aspects of human civilization, which is how we communicate with one another, how we coordinate with one another, and how we're influenced by one another. It's transformative, it's fundamental, and it's here to stay without a doubt.